So one of the advantages of winter burning is that uh, you often don't need a permit from Cal Fire to do the, the winter burn. Um, it's not always easy to know if, if that is the case in your, in your unit, in your administrative unit. Um, but there is a web page that, that uh, is managed by CAL FIRE that in theory tells you if you need a permit or not. And so for the winter burn that we're going to do down at 3,000 feet elevation in the mixed evergreen forest type, uh, it's in the Amador El Dorado unit. And uh, it's December or it's January right now. And uh, this is typically the time of year when we do not need a permit. And there was a notice sent out uh, in this unit that effectively said that, that uh, we're, we're no longer in fire season. And so um, when I go to this web page here, it's actually not correct. Uh, it says that a permit is required. Uh, I saw this and I didn't think it was right because of that, um, because of the notice that I uh, that I'd seen uh, that said it was not required. And so what I did is I, I, I did check in with the uh, website administrator here. They did not change it. So I I checked in with uh, my local battalion and they did confirm with me directly that I did not need a permit. And so unfortunately, there's not always a, a consistent updating uh, of this website, but you can use it as a first pass to, to kind of understand if you need a permit. And so um, what you're looking for, generally anyway, what I've seen over the years is that um, when it has this term burning allowed, um, that's associated with the, the uh, a phase of the time of year when you do not need a burn permit from Cal Fire. And so um, you can see the different ways that they, you know, that, that they describe status, burn permit required, presumably, you know, that's what you typically see uh, in the fall or in the spring, uh, there's that permit season. Uh, burning suspended is often what you see in the middle of summer, where in theory, like if you were given a permit that lasts a long time, they would suspend that permit because the conditions are, are too risky. Um, and then sometimes there's this breaking out. This is kind of a nice thing that some air, units do where they break out the, a difference between uh, the permitting status, uh, depending on what elevation you are. Uh, but with winter burning, um, you know, it, to, if you see that burning aloud and it's the winter period, that does mean that you do not need a permit from CAL FIRE. Uh, if it's a, uh, depending on the size of the project, you might need a permit from Air Pollution Control District, but not one from CAL FIRE. And again, uh, uh, look at this site, but um, uh, in my experience, you can't assume that it's correct, unfortunately. And uh, it's better to look, uh, to talk with your local unit or your really ideally your local battalion uh, level. And that's a, you know, a, a, a CAL FIRE station that you can just find online on, on a, you know, um, find your nearest CAL FIRE fire station and uh, uh, either go in a person or give them a call. Uh, the battalion chief should know they're responsible for that that station uh, and they should know the specific status or they can look they can find out what the specific status is with respect to whether or not you need a permit. Uh, 